Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to transform my pretty dirty and plain looking front porch into something nice. All right, so here we are at the French porch area and as you can see, it is pretty plain and it does extend further down. Now, uh, these benches that you see here, these were made by my father and we had them in the backyard and they've gotten a little you know weathered but I really like the way they look they kind of go with my weathered front door here so I'm gonna go ahead and leave them here and I actually did place them uh, in these particular spots that they are now um, with the plan of doing something here that would be look nice but anyway um, this bench right here I used to have it over here kind of a bit of an angle here in this little corner and I had it during Christmas and I decorated it but I finally moved it and then this particular shelf thing is something that my husband had built and it had three shelves and then we made it shorter and had it in our entryway and then I decided that I would like it out here so I've placed it out here and I've had this pedestal for many 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 years so I don't think I want to replace it I kind of like how it looks kind of worn out and as you can see look at the floor uh, once upon a time <laughs> when we first built our home and then a couple of years later I had a sponge that was shaped like a brick and I did all this painting here with that sponge on the floor but as you can see lots of spots have faded and unfortunately I don't have the sponge anymore uh, someone asked to borrow it they wanted to do the same effect and sadly I, I never got it back so careful who you lend out stuff to <laughs> it's been too many years so I really don't care anymore but still um, this is what it's looking like uh, I'm not going to redo the floor at this time um, I really wish I could but I'm not gonna do it at this time now these benches I bought some fabrics and I want to do some throw pillows. I've had this kind of fabric here for some time, like a throw. Um, something is in there, <laughs> making a little home. Uh, but I think I'm going to remove it. I don't think I'll have time to go shopping and purchase another. So we're just going to take that off and just put those throw pillows that I bought fabric for. And I'll show you that. Um, I have a nice little plant here. And I think I'm going to put it into another pot. Just just put that pot into another pot is what I'm going to do. And I have this wreath that I did in a video. Uh, but this is very springy. I could take the pink off and just add a little bit, another color, more summery or something fall. But I think I'm going to just redo this real quick. And like I said, just take off the pink flowers and maybe... I think I have some sunflowers that I could add in there. Because I think these... Uh, I, I don't know they look like giant peonies but anyway that whether well, or not but still these are beautiful and I do like the hydrangea here but I think the pink will get replaced I'm not sure about these roses but anyway but I do like the little bird house and the birds so uh, I'm gonna leave that in there and probably leave the bow but anyway this is what this is looking like right now and I've also, I'm also going to replace this mat bought a new one so here we go this is what it looks like now and then we're gonna go to fixing it all right so I have these two fabrics and these are outdoor fabrics I absolutely love this one I love all the colors it's so pretty very tropical so I love it and I also liked this one very much so I'm just gonna use both of these and um, I've got some throw pillows here um, that I'm going to cover with these fabrics. Now, if I don't have enough fabric, what I'll do is I'm going to pull out some fabric that I can use on the back of the pillows and then just use this for the front of the pillows. That way I can save fabric. And if I have any or enough uh, where I can maybe use some of it in the back somewhere in my backyard maybe a couple of little pillows out there on my swing bench uh, but I do have the two benches so I kind of want to do these uh, uh, four pillows so I can place you know two on each bench so that's all I'm going to do It's going to be super easy just cut out the square 
cut out another square for the back, sew them, leave one side open, flip them over, stuff that in there. Well, I gotta measure that, of course, to, before I cut this. Uh, stuff that in there, sew it up, you know, the opening. Uh, I've, I have videos where I've done throw pillows, so if you're, you're interested in that, or if you wanna see something new, let me know so that I can create that. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna cover these pillows with these fabrics. Okay, so there's my pillows all completed. I've got two larger ones and I made sure that I got the pattern uh, really nice and centered. On this one, that same fabric, I didn't want to waste uh, too much of it, so I chose to just uh, pick whatever I could for this smaller pillow, but it still has a nice little bird on it, the pineapple and a beautiful flower on it. The other fabric didn't matter where the print was, so there we go, I've got my pillows ready. So on to the next project. Okay, so I brought in my wreath from outside and I removed uh, the pink, the, f the flowers and these roses. I went ahead and I removed the hydrangea and I'm going to save that, use it for something else. Um, I wanted to put some sunflowers on here then I realized I don't have any sunflowers. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I had some but I, I have them in an arrangement and I don't want to take apart that arrangement too put them on here and then I thought well you know what those throw pillows that are going outside of kind of are kind of tropical looking so obviously this wreath does not have that look to it so what I'm going to do is I am going to just uh, leave these flowers on here I have a little bit of these yellow flowers so I think I'm going to add that and I think I'm going to go ahead and replace the ribbon and so I can add some color so I'm going to see what I have that I can go ahead and trade off instead of just leaving it plain like that. Okay, so in the end, I opted for these different yellow flowers that I did find and this uh, kind of a palm print. Um, uh, what is this? Oh, it's a ribbon. <laughs> and I made a bow. Now, I would have liked to have had some palm leaves or some ferns uh, to put on my wreath, but I don't. And like I said, I'm not going to go to the store just for that. I want just to make something pretty, make it quick. I actually even switched out the bird. There was a brown one on there and I put a blue one just to add some color. Of course, I would love to add some pinks or salmon to this uh, wreath, but I am happy with the way that it looks and that's how it's going to be because I think pretty soon I'm going to start doing fall. So this will do for now for the summer. Alright you guys, so I'm out in my garage and I had some items here that uh, I had set aside uh, because I wanted to use them. And uh, I've decided now that I want to go ahead and put these out there. I have this, these are all very dusty, so I'm going to take them outside and hose them down and let them dry. So. Don't judge. Okay, anyway, so I have this little cute little bike, a uh, little bicycle kind of little planter, and I'm gonna see if I can, I can find a little plant, a little pot that will fit into it. And then I've got this wired uh, kind of a rooster. She's huge, it's a metal rooster. And uh, this will go out there too. Now, this is a very light kind of item and I feel like the wind will blow it. So I might end up tying it down or stapling it down somehow, but for the purpose of the video, I'll go ahead and put it out there uh, just so you can get an idea of items that you can use to decorate out outdoors with. Here I have a metal uh, watering can. I like the look of it. I don't wanna change anything about it, except you know to clean it. I have this little, angel statue. This was given to me by my mom. I have had it indoors. I've had it outdoors. I've had it everywhere, including the garage now for a couple of years. And it's super dusty, as you can see. I would love to spray paint this in a white, maybe. So this might happen in the future. I might bring it back inside. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. It's, I think it's a beautiful little, little praying angel. I collect uh, angels and other winged, uh, you know, birds and such like that, little bugs. Anyway, so I'm gonna take these outside, hose them down, and these will be used outside. Okay, so these items, I brought them outside and I've hosed them down so they're now clean. And I think you can see them a little bit better in the sunlight. I also had this pot and I have a plant out there on the shelf. I don't know if you saw that, but I'm gonna put that in this pot. I went ahead and I, I cleaned it off. And what I like about it is that it does have the green, yellow, and some blue, which is in the wreath and in some of the pillows that I'm gonna put out there. And then I have this little plant that fits perfectly into the bike planter. And I have this nice little uh, foxtail fern in a 
and a nice colored planter which I like so I'm gonna go ahead and use that up in the front um, I think I have maybe a couple other items inside and I have a new doormat like I said so those will go up front so my next step is to go out there and just sweep the uh, front while all this is drying all right everyone I have swept and I have hosed down uh, the area here and the floor and uh, the benches the window the wall the door uh, just swept any dirt that was accumulated here and some little leaves of course it's gonna take a little while to dry but I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating I'm not gonna wait till it's completely dry uh, but then of course there might be some little extra leaves or grasses that might fly around and get on there but I'm not gonna worry about it because it is the outdoors I see something way back over there right there and it should be removed but I'll wait till my husband gets home and help me. I am out of breath, you guys, but I am going to take just a little bit of a break, get some water, and then we'll be back to place our first item out here. Okay, so I've started off with this uh, little pig planter here that my husband purchased for me. I put some dirt in there because I had wanted to put a plant in there, but for a quick fix, I am putting this faux plastic greenery. I had two small bushes and I just stuck them in the dirt. I didn't even uh, trim them off or anything. I just uh, spread them out a little bit, stuck them in there, and I think it looks really pretty. It is a really nice quick fix to use some artificial plants or you know like greenery or flowers out in an area where you're not sure about you know the conditions for plants you can just put some faux ones okay so the next step is to put something into this pot right here okay so for a touch of live plants I have this Dreysenia in here this is actually a piece from a larger plant that my husband purchased for me I love the colors in there so I'm going to put this one right in here and I think it'll do good and I can check on it. It'll be easy because it's right outside my door. And then I have this little angel statue which I'm going to put I think like this. There we go. So that's what I have on there so far. Let's continue. Okay, so I do plan on putting some items up there but we're going to work our way down towards the bottom and I have the foxtail fern here this is another live plant that I'm going to put right here and it's right outside my door so I can keep an eye on it and water it as needed so let's grab that and I'm going to put it right there to kind of give it a little color to that little corner <laughs> and we see a little bug crawling around all right everyone let's go to the next step all right, so for my plaster pedestal, which I lovingly blasted with my hose to remove any dirt, even though I still see some on there, <laughs> I placed that right here next to this uh, first bench. I decided I didn't want to center it in the window. I thought it looked best a little bit to the side, and I've got a basket. Again, this are full greenery, but I think it'll look great there. The only thing about it is that I want to make sure that I weigh it down, so I'm going to go look for a, a brick or something in my backyard and then reach in here and place it in there somewhere just you know a little piece of brick or a couple of pieces of brick put them in there to weigh it down a little bit and then just cover it with a greenery so that's a little tip okay I have another little tip that I'm not doing today but I'm going to go ahead and share with you here we have these cords that are running through these are for the um, you know our internet and other services that we have here uh, so um, these are just running up and down the wall and I really hate them I don't like that they do the work like that um, I've got some old ones over here and I wish they had just used that instead of creating new which I was not here to <laughs> to you know police if you will so what I'm thinking I want to do is I want to get like a trellis like a wood trellis that kind of fans out and I happen to have one in my backyard but I want to put a faux ivy you know growing up on it I don't want to put a real one because I don't know how well it will do and I don't want to kill it so I want to head, go ahead not only that but I really don't want it to you know grow and get out of control even though I could be trimming it but I think a full one would be great on a little trellis here that would kind of hide this and I have the idea to do it also over here maybe a little bit bigger with some lattice or something so that will dress up this bench so it doesn't look so plain over here and I do plan on getting some other either real or faux greenery to somehow fill in this area I'm thinking about doing some succulents in this area so uh, keep an eye out for me doing another bit of an addition to my front porch I just want it to look nice okay so I have this little plant 
and I'm gonna work where I want to put that one and next. There we go on our little bicycle planter and next to it will be the rooster now these items are kind of lightweight and the wind will blow through here pretty strong so these are going to have to be tied down some way so i'm either going to have like a little nail put in here and then bent over the little wheels here to hold them down and i think i can use my heavy duty staple gun to place a staple here to hold this down otherwise i'll do the same thing where i'll put a little nail and then bend it over to kind of create like a little bridge over to hold it down so those are things that i will do to remedy that but for the video that is what i'm going to do there and then later if i want i can fill it in with some other little plants maybe some little succulents whether they're real or uh faux okay so now i have this watering can and i think it looks really pretty there but i think i have I think I would like to put some long uh, like straws or grassy bits coming out of it at some point so that I may need it over here just to give that bench something there. So there you go. Let me know what you think of that. All right, so let's just add some finishing touches to the whole outdoor area here. So a little pillow there. I've got this other one here and then of course I added these two over here. Now it occurred to me because, again, because of the wind, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some string or yarn and make a couple, you know, like fold a long piece and then sew the fold onto here. So then I have these two long pieces sticking out so I can put it through the cracks of the wood and around here and then tie it somewhere in the back to hold the pillows so they don't come off. And that was a suggestion uh, my husband uh, had uh, mentioned that we need to tie these down somehow so they don't blow away but you know they look really nice right now for the purpose of the video so there you go and here's a nice garden book that I can place out here so I can sit there and look at it and of course in the front door we have our wreath that I've now hung on there and down below a beautiful mat and to help welcome everyone this friendly little turtle. <laughs> All right, everyone, I have placed what I had in my home, what I had already existing, and just uh, some new fabrics that I did purchase to do those covers on my pillows that I already had. So I just brought out some items, some of the items that were already out here, I just cleaned them off, and look at that. It looks so pretty and inviting out here. I'm happy with it, it's not too cluttered. I did add a couple of little extra things here on the top as you can see there. Um, and I do have a couple of, uh, or three live plants out here that I'll have to keep an eye on, but luckily they're all here all together. I really like the way the wreath turned out even though I don't have any, you know, strong colors in it. But that's okay because pretty much everything is, is pretty subdued. They're not really, really strong colors. I just have a pop of color, you know, with the pillows there, but it's not like a really strong color. So there you go. So I'm just going to give you a little tip. Let's say you're going to have a little get together, a little dinner, or just a couple of guests that are coming to your home and you want to welcome them. Uh, and you're only going to be inside, they're only going to come in the front door, and they're only going to be inside, they're not going to be outside in the backyard. So why not bring some of your potted plants that you may have outdoors, and bring them into your home, decorate with them, put a few of them out in the front so that uh, you can welcome them, even if you have a small little area to decorate. Uh, as you can see, I have this long area that I can put stuff in, but you know what? We don't spend too much time out here. I really would just wanted to do a makeover so that it would look pretty and I wanted to do this video. So I hope that you enjoy it and you appreciate it. So I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up and I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up and that you enjoyed uh, the little tips and the little bit of decorating that I have done out here. Thank you everyone who has been subscribing and if you haven't already done so, please hit that subscription button, that red button, and then after that hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of when I upload videos, which is twice a week. And once in a while it will be a vlog type video like this has been. So I ask that you share on your social medias, be kind and respect each other, and as always, enjoy.